Welcome back to our world outdoors, guys. It's a beautiful day. We're back here on the property. I want to talk about the Cobra Cure hammock. This one's in emerald green. You guys have seen my black one before. But let's talk about why I think it's the perfect base for a budget hammock setup. All right, so let's start off with what everybody wants to know is how much this weighs. Everything you see here weighs 1.7 pounds. All right, price tag, $32 on Amazon. Link will be down in the description. Now, this is what we're gonna build our budget setup around. You're gonna see a series of videos talking about a budget hammock setup. Not a lot of people have 500 bucks to go out and spend on a hammock setup. So we're gonna build a complete system, low cost, that way people can try it out. If you like it, you're not in a bunch. If you don't, you're not in a bunch. Same thing. Now, let's see what's inside here. So you got a decent stuff sack, which is attached. You got your straps. You got your stakes, which I'll explain and your tie outs. Then you have your hammock. This is a 210T parachute material. All right. Generally speaking, this is an older technology as far as the hammock material, but it works just fine. It breathes well, it does the job. So now this design is a little different because it actually has two tie outs on the side where you can stake it down to open it. Makes it a little easier getting in and out in some ways, in other ways it's kind of a pain. But either way, if you're gonna run a diagonal tarp, then you can tie out to those same stakes, which reduces carry weight. So look at it as you will. But let's get this thing hung up and let's talk about it more and why we think it's the best starter hammock on the market. Okay, so you guys can see that the tree separation is not optimal. The straps, the way you have to wrap them around the tree instead of having daisy links in it, not optimal. But we work with what we gotta work with because it's a very windy day and we're like nestled down in the pines here a little bit, trying to hide from the wind some and the wind noise. That said, you know, when it's fully set up correctly, it actually pulls out to a very nice hammock. Now let's take a little bit more in-depth look at it up close to kind of give you some ideas of what this thing's all about. Okay, as you can see, you got your bag that's built in to where you put it away. These are those loops I was telling you guys about. You take these and hook it on to your tie out and pull it out there and stake it out on either side and it will hold it open for you. Might be a nice feature for people that are starting out or that same tie out point, if you've got a tarp that runs on diagonal, then you can tie out to the same stake and basically only need to carry the two stakes. As you can see, the construction's way overbuilt, completely unnecessary. Now built into it, it does have like some wannabe daisy chaining in the straps, but you know, these are easily replaceable that's a wish list item you could get away with not you know just using these you can get away with it but that's one thing about this i wish it had true daisy chain loops all the way up it would make this a lot easier plus you'd have a little bit of a drip point that said it's got a good solid netting my black one's been through heck and it does just fine when you're looking at it there's a tab here and that tab so you can hook your pillow on is actually nice to have. A lot of hammocks don't have that nowadays. It's 
got a decent zipper system. I do notice that when you get in it, it's sometimes hard to get this to move. But overall, it moves pretty well. You really can't complain. At $32, I mean, that's a pretty nice hammock for $32, honestly. Now, it is a true nine foot hammock. All right. So, it does take a little bit more doing to get sideways in this, but it is possible. So, let me take you off the tripod. Let's get inside there and just kind of see how she lays. Alright guys, so I'm in the hammock. Now, honestly, I should be the other way around, but because of the way the sun's hitting the angle, you guys would be looking at the sun right now if I did that. So generally your feet would be on the more uphill side, but I want you to kind of look at the material, how much material I have at my side. And if I turn you around, There's a lot of material there to lay sideways, guys. And also, right here, you got a hook, a little pouch for storing stuff. Headlamp goes good there. And yes, I've got a big old shotgun mic on this, so it's kind of fun in here to try and film this, but there's a lot of room in this hammock, guys. You can get sideways lay. It takes a little more work than say in my big old 11 footer, but it's definitely doable. I really actually enjoy this hammock and I feel like the quality you get for the money you spend is amazing. Now I did a lot of overnights in my black one and then if you watched, I believe it was Tar Hollow. Yeah, I believe it was Tar Hollow. Tori stayed in it, in my black one, and then I believe on the girls trip where they went to Carter Caves, Tori stayed in my black Covacure then too. Now, the one I'm sitting in right now is my son Chris's, and we're building him a system up, which is the system you're going to see in some upcoming videos as we build up our budget hammock camping setup, because some people you know, just can't afford to run out and spend 500 bucks on something they may not like. Now, this is not the only cheap hammock on the market that's quality. I know my friend Fred Donaldson swears by the bare butt. All right, and I've heard a lot of other people swear by that company as well. So that might be another good option. But at $32 for straps, stakes, a hammock with a bug net, you know, because if you're like me, you don't like bugs chewing on you at night. You just don't. This is a complete setup starter that you can build around that is very cost effective. And to be honest, it's comfortable. I mean, when you sit in this thing, it is actually very comfortable. And the reason why is they didn't cheap out and try and make it super skinny. It's a true double hammock. You know, it's got the material so you can get sideways in it. As long as you've got the distance between your trees, you can have a really good sleep in these things. Now, weight is kind of a concern. Let's be honest. You know, 1.7 or so pounds, that's pretty good weight, but it's not terrible. And it certainly can be worked around if you're going to go backpacking, especially if you're not doing massive miles. So guys, this is an honestly a true winner. You can't go wrong with this hammock. Spend the $32, get started in hammock camping. I'd rather see you come to something like this than wait and wait and wait trying to save up. You could always upgrade this to a nice cottage vendor like hammock gear, trailheads, there's plenty of them out there. Get your entry level hammock, get your setup together, 
and I promise you, you'll be glad you got your start. This may not be where you always want to be. This may be enough hammock for you. You may just like this size hammock and it works perfect for you. But whatever you do, take a moment, do your own research, check it out. But as far as we go, this one's a winner. Now be on the lookout for some trips in these and more information about our whole budget setup as it comes together. Videos will come out one by one explaining each component and then we'll do one with all the components together and then do a bunch of trips in that setup with these all built up by different people and you'll hear directly from them what they think of the setup. So until next time guys, I'm Tony and we'll see you up the trail.